Hey guys, it's Hazeltail, and it feels like I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Like, I've put up videos, but I haven't sat down and talked to you guys. Today, I have a kind of, like, giant haul of makeup and beauty products that I've bought just during this past fall. I did put up a couple Halloween hauls, but I feel like those are completely different than a regular makeup haul. Anyway, there's a lot, so I'll just get started. First, I'll start with the palette that I used to create my eye look, and there will be a tutorial for it, either... Before this video or after, there'll be a link in the description box and somewhere on the screen once it goes live. But I used the LA Colors I Heart Makeup I Have a Crush Nude Palette. And I kept the box because it was packaged really strangely and bulky. The palette was open like this inside the box. So it was kind of like that. How do I hold this so it doesn't blind you guys? Okay, that'll maybe work. I just used this palette to do my look today. I used these three colors right here. I think that's everything I used. They're the two Define colors and one of the base colors. A problem I do have with this palette is like, it doesn't have the proper name on it anywhere. The box says I have a crush nude, but it doesn't say that anywhere on the palette itself. I really liked the quality of the shadows that I did try. I haven't tried most of these, obviously. But if you guys want, I can do a review and more tutorials with this. I'd actually really like to because it looks like a good palette. And I'm pretty sure that it, sorry my eyelashes, um, that it was a holiday palette because this was with all the holiday stuff at Rite Aid. Then I picked up one more thing from LA Colors. It was in the same section as the palette, so I think it's a holiday kit. It's a five set of lashes plus a weird little lash applicator and a tiny thing of glue. I think these are the Winkum lashes, at least that's what it says right here. And to me, they remind me of like a Demi Wispy kind of from like Ardell or Salon Perfect. I don't know if I'm gonna be using that lash applicator though, like it's real weird looking. Then I picked up a few things from Wet n Wild. I couldn't find all of this in store, so I did an online order. And that's when I bought some of the Halloween liquid lipsticks as well. I picked up two of their liquid cat suits that are in the regular line. This brownish nude is called Nudie Patootie. And the pinky one is called Nudist Peach. And today I actually mixed both of them on my lips and that's what I'm wearing. But I'll swatch these for you guys real quick. This one's Nudie Patootie. And this one is Nudist Peach. And I did a review of the Fantasy Makers liquid lipsticks, the liquid cat suits. And as far as I'm aware, these are the same formula as that, so I'm not going to do another review on these. Then I picked up a couple of their brushes. It's the powder brush and the small stipple brush. I haven't got a chance to use these yet. I've only taken pictures of them. This one's the powder brush. It feels synthetic, but still soft. It's not as big as the ones I'm used to, which are the, um, what are they called? The e.l.f. Studio Complexion Brushes. But I feel like this could work. I'll have to try it and see. Then we have the small stipple brush. I'm not really sure why I got this. Like, I know why, but I don't know if it makes any sense. I wanted to try the e.l.f. one but I can't find the e.l.f. one and I was already making an order from Wet n Wild. So I got this one instead. I don't know. It feels like it kind of gives a lot, which I've heard is the problem with a lot of stipple brushes. I wanted to get this for like cream highlight and whatnot. Completely unrelated, but I've been watching Grease a lot and I just love that line where he's like, you know how it is, rockin' and rollin' and whatnot. But again, synthetic fibers, but it does feel soft. Then I picked up another set of false lashes. It's another five pack. This one's from Kiss though, not LA Colors. And the style is called Poise. Again, this looks like a Demi Wispy or, yeah, a Demi Wispy, not a regular Wispy, but longer, I think. And I do like Kiss lashes. I've tried them before, just not this particular style. Then I kind of went a little crazy with the false nails. But to be fair, I'm probably going to have to wear false nails if I want long nails for a while because they're long right now, but I can just tell 
that this thumbnail is about to break. I'm going to try and reinforce it, but if not, you're going to see these false nails pretty soon. <laughs> They're all from Kiss, and I'll show you them one at a time, but I have kind of a problem with them. A problem with all the Kiss nails. I can never figure out the exact name, especially for the ones that are called The Collection. It seems like they recycle the names over and over again and put out, like, different collections under that line but use the same names for different styles, if that makes any sense. The first one is the Gel Fantasy Nails. These are a dark, like, forest green with a bronzy gold glitter ombre from the bed up towards the tip. I think that is so gorgeous, and they're a rounded off nail. Normally I go for square nails, but if it's really beautiful, I'll make an exception. Okay, here's my problem. These say they're called Painted Veil, but I know for sure that I have had nails, maybe even a video about those nails, that were from this line called Painted Veil, but they were square nails and they were turquoise with glitter, not anything like these. If you know what's going on with their names, please let me know, because I'm super confused. And then I picked up three from the Collection line. This one doesn't have a name but I liked the feathers and the gold, obviously. And then I got one more from the collection that I'm pretty sure was from the same release because it's got similar colors. Again, it doesn't have a name on it, but this one I think is like more nautical and the other one was more tropical. And then I have one last one that is completely different from those two. It's matte nails, again, no name. These are all medium length, by the way. And I really like the colors, and I like the rose detail on there, because I can't paint roses on my nails. That is really hard. And then I got a bunch of stuff from NYX also. They were having a sale, first of all, and then I got, like, cash back that you could only specifically spend on NYX. So that's what I did. It's my excuse. I got four of their glitters. I've only tried one of them. It's this one, which is O2 Rose. And I use that in my rose gold glitter makeup tutorial and there'll be links to that. I like this a lot. I've only tried this one so far, but I like it a lot. Unfortunately, the actual name is not on the, like, container. The number is, but the name's not. I have number two, which is the rose one. Number four, which is kind of like a bronzy color. Number eight, kind of like golden. And then number 12, which is like a black glitter. Then I picked up their blotting papers, just the regular ones. They have like three special ones besides this. But since I was essentially getting stuff free and I needed more blotting papers, I picked these up. Nothing too special about this. Then I picked up two of their just standard lip liners. I think they have ones called slide-on lip liners, but these are not them. I got one in the shade Flower which I will swatch underneath the Wet n Wild. I haven't used these yet. Wow, that's kind of chunky. But I like the color. It's like a super light pink. And then this one is called Pale Pink. And when I got these, my thought was that you could use... Oh, there we go. You could use this color to outline your lips and this color to go in the center. Then I picked up three of their matte eyeshadows. Let me see what these are actually called. Uh, nude matte eyeshadow. Two of these, okay, I lied. These all have different packaging. That is very strange. But they're all in the same line of eyeshadows. I haven't had a chance to use these yet. Or swatch them at all. They feel alright. Where can I swatch this? Right here. This one is Trist. Just like medium brown. This one feels a lot creamier than the last one. This is Blame It on Midnight. Okay, I don't have this color, but there's a color called like Cantaloupe or Melon or something by Makeup Geek, and this reminds me of it. And this is like a super pale cream shade, kind of leaning towards pink. This one feels more thin like the first one. And it's not really showing up, and I don't think it's because it's my skin tone. You can kind of see it. 
I can't even see it really on my finger anymore. I think it's just kind of powdery. Okay, but when I hold it out of the direct light and look at it like from here, I can see it. And that last one was called Leather and Lace. I picked up a couple eyeliners from them as well. I got the super skinny marker, eye marker, in whatever their black shade is called, carbon black. It really does look like a marker. And the tip is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I don't mind that. Sometimes I just want a really precise line to just like cover lash band or like make the lashes look thicker. And I think this will work good for that. I haven't tested it at all. That's what it does. It's a felt tip. And this one requires, well it doesn't require, but I want to give a little bit of backstory to it. I really wanted to get into using white eyeliner more. Like I used it in one of my Halloween tutorials, the Glitter Angel tutorial I think it was called. And again, there'll be links to that. But I didn't like the eyeliner I used. It was from Wet n Wild from their Halloween collection I think the year before, but I hadn't used it. And it was just really watery and I didn't like it as much. And a girl that I like, I will try to include her Instagram if I remember to, she uses white eyeliner a lot and she likes the NYX one, so I picked this up. This is what it looks like. I, again, haven't tried this yet. It's got a skinny brush applicator, which I am not a fan of and I'm probably not going to use. I'm probably going to use this with my Anastasia angle brush, but I will swatch it for you guys. Yeah, that looks better than the Wet n Wild. Let me just get a little bit more. Yeah, it's not as streaky as the other one. That's how it swatches. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see that. The last thing I got from NYX I have tried before, not this particular tube of it, but I had it in the past. It's the Doll Eye Mascara for volume slash black, though they don't seem to offer a color that's not black, so I don't know why they have to include that. I couldn't remember how much I liked this mascara. I knew I did like it, but I couldn't remember how much, and I wanted to compare it to the la lashes. The mascara that I do like a lot, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. Wow, that's gunked up with mascara little look at the brush. It's thinner than what I'm used to. It's a slight hourglass shape, but not too much. If you want, I can do a first impressions on this or a review. Just let me know in the comments. Then I picked up just one thing from e.l.f. It's something I've tried before. It's the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner Pen in black. It doesn't say eyeliner pen anywhere on here, though. That's a little weird. And it's pretty hard to open. There we go. It's got a really fine tip, longer than the NYX one, and I don't know if I would call this waterproof, but it's water resistant. Just a little swatch for you guys. Again, it's not the blackest black in the world, but you're really not going to get that from a felt tip marker. And then I have another repurchased item. This is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Red Diva. I went to use this the other day, my old one, and it would not twist up at all as... Okay, there we go. This was scaring me for a second. It wasn't twisting up. But this is my favorite red lip liner ever. It has an angled tip, and it's a nice, soft, creamy lip liner, and it's a bright blue based red. I usually wear this like under, what's it called? It's one of the NYX matte lip creams. I think it's Amsterdam. The red that's like really bright. Then I got just a few more lashes. I picked up this double pack of the Ardell Wispies, not the Demi Wispies like I keep talking about. Mostly I bought this particular pack because it came with this weird lash applicator that I wanted to try. And it also comes with Duo Lash Glue, which I don't have right now, but there's nothing wrong with it. These lashes are different from the other ones that I've shown you in that they're longest in the middle instead of like out at the edge. But yeah, I mostly wanted to try this 
applicator. I use tweezers right now and I don't really have that much of a problem with it, but if it could be easier, that would be nice. Then I got another pair of lashes from Kiss. They are not in the box because they are currently on my eyes. Can you see? Are they... These are the Lash Couture Faux Mink Lashes in Boudoir. So fancy. I've never worn mink lashes or faux mink lashes, so I don't really have anything to compare these to. But they're really soft and fluttery. I like them a lot. The lash band is really thick and you have to like wiggle it around to get it to fit to your eye, but I think it's worth it. And this also comes with a little thing of lash glue. Then I picked up a nail polish from China Glaze, because for some reason Rite Aid had a China Glaze display, which was a little weird. I think it was the My Little Pony collection. And I picked up this color, which I think is amazing. I don't think it's showing up as amazing as it is in real life on camera. It's like a baby blue with pink, purple, and turquoise sparkle in it. It's called Let Your Twilight Sparkle. Apparently that means something because it says TM next to it. Then I repurchased my moisturizer. It is the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture for Combination Skin. I've been using this for a really long time. It doesn't break me out, and like most moisturizers do, and that's why I've been sticking with it so long. It's not the most hydrating one, but that's probably because it is for combination skin, and you don't want to overload the oily parts of your face with a lot of moisture. And it doesn't have a scent either, which I really like. Okay, I know I'm super late to the game on makeup sponges, but I finally got some to try. I got the white here, white now from Day Logic and the Baby Bun Me One More Time mini applicators from the same brand. Okay, I just fought with this package for like over five minutes and now it feels like both my thumbnails are gonna break. So I just called in reinforcements and used scissors to open it. And then I dropped it. Now, like I said, I've never used a sponge before. Obviously this is supposed to be like the beauty blender. I haven't dampened it with water or anything, so this is like the smallest it is. I don't know if it's gonna expand with size. Expand in size with water, but in theory it's supposed to. It feels kind of firm right now, like not hard, but firm, and I'm hoping it gets softer. Then there's these little green ones, the Baby Bun Me One More Time ones. These are supposed to be like the micro minis, I believe, and these are way softer than the white one. As you can see, it squishes down a lot, and I think this is going to be really good for concealer. Then I picked up a couple makeup removing products from Rite Aid, or actually one of them is from CVS and one of them is from Rite Aid. I got the Beauty 360 Deep Action Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Oh, it doesn't say cleansing. I just made that up. But these are my favorite makeup remover wipes. I used to use the ones from Neutrogena, and... The way they are packaged, they don't have this top, so they were drying out really quickly, so then I started using the ones from Rite Aid, and then they changed their packaging to that kind of top also, so now I get the ones from CVS. They're all basically the same, but the ones from CVS actually stay fresh. I like this, it doesn't have a scent, it doesn't irritate my skin or eyes, and if you scrub hard enough, this will even remove liquid lipstick. And speaking of removing liquid lipstick, I have the Simple Dual Effect Eye Makeup Remover, which I actually got to remove liquid lipsticks. I do not like putting oil-based makeup remover on my face in general, but I'll do it with like a Q-tip for my lips. Honestly, this I got at Rite Aid, but I had a hard time finding anything like this. I wasn't looking for any particular brand and this was the only one I saw. But again, this doesn't have a scent, which I like. Then we have kind of a boring product, but it's a cleansing product again. My Japanese Makeup Brush Cleanser. When I bought this on, it was Ulta's website, it didn't say citrus scent at the bottom right here. It never said citrus anything anywhere on the website. But this one smells like you have an orange peel and like shoved it up your nose. Like, if you like oranges, that's a good thing, but it's really strong. And since then, I have, like, looked online, and they don't seem to make the original unscented one anymore. They have this one and a rose one, so I'll take the citrus over the rose any day. And then I got some fun stuff from Ulta along with that. First of all, I got this free gift. I don't remember why. 
I think I was for signing up for something. It's one of the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils, and this one is Perversion, and it's been out so long and I have not been able to try it. I couldn't justify paying that much for a black eyeliner. I think they're like $15 or $20, but it was completely free. And I have one of the ones in zero that is like this big, and I'm still trying to use it up. But I can't wait to try this. That is so black and so creamy. I love that. And I've also heard that this one doesn't irritate contacts like the other one does, and I'm really hoping that's true because I wear contacts. Then I picked up a backup of my eyebrow pencil. It's one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencils. Technically I use other ones too, like today I used the Wet n Wild one, but this is my favorite and I can't get it out of the box. This one it looks like very skinny, has a spoolie on one end, and the shade that I use is taupe. See it's a teeny tiny little pencil that twists up. And it's kind of a harder pencil, which I do like because you can make actual hair like strokes. I did a few like little lines and then built it up a little so you could see the color. I like this color because it's not overly red or warm. And I just realized I had forgotten to talk about one of my eyebrow products that I bought from Wet n Wild because I left it over by my vanity back there. It's the Color Icon Brow Pencil in Blonde Moments. I am wearing it today with like just some clear eyebrow gel. It's got a spoolie on one end, which I do like, but I don't really like this pencil. Like, first of all, the cap on the spoolie keeps falling off. Like, whatever. <sighs> this color is really dark, I think, for a blonde color. And also really red. But I could deal with that if that was the only thing wrong with it. This pencil is so soft and it deposits so much product at once, it, like, kind of gunks up your eyebrow hairs a little bit and then you have to go over it with the spoolie. And I had to sharpen it after doing like one eyebrow and then just starting on it, it, on the second one, it became so dull that I couldn't get a good line and I had to sharpen it. And it's dull again. Like, look at it. I haven't used it since then. And it's dull. Okay, we're almost done. Just two more things. I got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. I used to use this way back in the day. I used it for a while in high school and then I used it for a while after high school. And then when I ran out of it, I just never bought it again. So I tried it again for the first time today and I liked it. Again, no noticeable scent, you can tell I like that. And it went on my skin, it just felt really nice and smooth like the name would imply. I don't know if it makes my skin look kind of poreless, but my pores did look a little bit better. Then I saved the most exciting product for the end and then I'll just show you the samples after that real quick. I got the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I have been wanting one of these forever. How do you open this? Oh yeah. I've been looking at all the Lorac palettes and the Pro 2 has always been my favorite. Like the navy especially like calls to me. First of all, it comes with a mini behind the scenes eye primer. I have another one of these that I got, I think with the unzipped palette and I've only used it a few times, but from what I remember, it's a good eyeshadow primer. And here's the palette. I like the packaging. The matte gray. Try not to blind you guys. I am really excited about this. I haven't played with it yet. Should I swatch a couple colors? Yeah. I'll swatch the navy and the silver. Ooh, they're really soft. Look at that. Why am I holding this so awkwardly? I like can't close it. There we go. Whoa, those are so beautiful. I'm definitely gonna have to do a tutorial with this palette soon. And if you don't know how these palettes work, the pro palettes, they have one matte row and one shimmer row. Then I'll just show you the two samples I got real quick. If you made it this far into the video, you win 10 points and a cupcake. I got this little tiny sample of Poor Professional. 
I tried this a long time ago and I didn't really like it, but my skin was oilier back then, so I will have to give this a try. And then I got this sample of black vanilla sulfate free shampoo and hydrating conditioner. I don't know if I'm going to use these to be honest just because they're such a small packet and I have so much hair. Like, oh my god. But maybe I'll just give it to like one of my friends who has shorter hair or something. Anyway, that's it. You made it through the entire video. I love you guys if you made it through. If there are any videos you'd like to see, be sure to leave them in a comment down below or private message me. And you can also check me out on Twitter and Instagram at HazeltailXO and I'm on Tumblr at Hazeltail.tumblr.com and then for beauty specific stuff, HazeltailOfficial.tumblr.com. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!